Dad. Dad. Oh, just a minute. Dad, what are you doing? I'm about. Oh, I'm. Dad, Bobby's going to be here in half an hour. I'm on the roof already. We talked about this. Oh, got to inspect up here. And the gutters need cleaning. You should not be on the roof. You have to inspect the roof, Debbie. Shack would fall down if we don't inspect the roof every year. It's gonna fall down because you keep climbing on it. Oh, it's been in our family 50 years. The roof can handle a little walkabout. Mom would have a coronary if she saw you up there. She saw me up here plenty of times. I'll be safe. Can I hold the ladder? I'll be safe, Debbie. Just relax. Huh? Is everything okay, Dad? Is there moss? Or what? I said, is there moss? I know how you hate moss. Dad? Uh, no, there's, there's just uh, uh, something off in the trees there. Uh, there's something big. What? I, I say uh, there's something moving over there a piece. Uh, oh, about a quarter mile away uh, toward the road. You can see it from there? Well, not through the trees, no. Uh, but you can hear it. And the trees are shaking all about. Uh, sounds huge. What? I say it's huge. Wow. Construction equipment? Oh, no one's building on the lake this fall. It's too wet. Huh. I wonder. I wonder what that is. The Icebox Radio Theater presents The Gular. Uh, good to sit down. You shouldn't have that much coffee if you're going to get up early. Can I go to the deer stand with you tomorrow, Grandpa? Oh, well, of course. Dad. What? He's old enough. Oh, and I know his dad's teaching him how to use that little twenty-two. I know. When's Bobby going to be up, uh, anyway? Uh, he's off shift at 7, then he'll drive up. Uh, good having family at the shack again. I think Maddie's still a little young to go sit in the deer stand. Mom... If you stay here with Elsa and me, maybe we'll plunk some cans, huh? I don't want to plunk cans. I want to go out to the stand with Grandpa. Oh, that's no fun. All you get to do is sit and be quiet. I'll bring my comic books, and I'll keep my games on silent. Maddie? Oh, Deb, what's wrong? We come hunting as a family every opening weekend since you were Maddie's age. If he wants to go up into the stand with me, uh, so what? It's about time, isn't it? That twenty-two of his wouldn't bring down a squirrel. I know that, Mom. I wasn't even going to bring it. Debbie? What's wrong? We'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it now. What's the bee in your bonnet? Fine. I never told you this, but it really bothered me the first time I saw you take a buck. My daddy, killing Bambi. Well, sure. But you were a girl and a pretty sensitive one at that. Matthew here won't have any problem. Oh, I bet he's shooting birds all the time. Oh, no, Grandpa. Dad told me never to do that. Ah, and he was right to say it, too. Because? Because we only kill what we eat. That's right. You see, Deb, he's a born hunter. Can't keep him out of the stand forever. Well, I guess. Really? Really, but don't bother Grandpa while he's hunting. I won't. Oh, of course he won't. Matter of fact, I need him and his young eyes up there to scout things out. I'll do it, Grandpa. Of course you will. Now, uh, got any more of that coffee? Dad. What's that? Uh, must be a bear. <laughs> Probably attracted by Maddie's cocoa. That sounds too big to be a bear. Yeah, yeah, it kind of does. Uh, I think we need to get into the house. Maddie, come on. What was that? Get into the shack. Dad? No, no, get, get into the truck. What is it? Get the babies and get them to the truck. I, I think we have to... Grandpa? One three seven, come back. One three seven, what's up, Cheryl? Okay, Ridge. We lost contact with our 911 caller. The line went dead. You said it was a cell, right? Copy that. Any chance we can get a GPS location off the phone? We're working on that, but it takes a while to rouse anyone at the phone company. Also, Parks Department is on the scene. Why is Parks there? The road's not on their land. Guy said he was in the neighborhood. Said you might need a hand. Ah, oh, son of a... You don't know it's him. Parks doesn't patrol at night. If someone was just out driving around, it's got to be him. Well, 
Have fun, you two. Arriving at the scene now. Do you want backup? Very funny. 137, leaving vehicle. That you, Giff? Yeah. Your dispatcher said you had a 911 call out here? Uh Uh-huh. Car accident, I guess. There it is. See for yourself. Uh Uh-huh. You you been here long? Four and a half minutes. Four and a half, huh? What? Nothing. Any sign of the passengers? Nope. Dispatcher said they lost our caller. Hmm. Must have wandered off. Yep. So, um, what, what's Parks Department doing out here this time of night? You know, patrolling. Doesn't Park land end over there a piece? You know, Richie, if you don't want my help, just say so. Oh, I didn't say that. Just trying to figure out what's going on. It's a pickup plowed into a tree in the forest. What do you think's going on? That all checks. But I'm interested in the recently divorced Parky riding a scanner looking for trouble. You think I'm looking for trouble? Aren't you? I'm doing my job. My personal life's got nothing to do with it. Other than you now work 24 hours a day. Nothing better to do since she left me. How is she, by the way? I wouldn't know. Really? That's not what I hear. What's that supposed to mean? It means my wife was seen in your company shortly before deciding to leave me. So you think she left for me? Did she? If I told you straight up, would you believe me? Yeah. Yeah, I think I would. All right, then. We had coffee. Twice. She wanted to talk to someone about stuff and didn't have anyone. I lent an ear. Is that all you lent? I suppose you have a right to ask that, and yes, that's all I lent. Awfully convenient you being there. We'd worked together once or twice, domestic disputes and that. When was the last time you slept, Giff? You want to talk about the accident, officer, or is my personal life just that much more interesting? Right. You checked around? No passengers, no footprints into the woods. You recognize the vehicle. Yeah. I want to say it's Bobby Dunning's truck. He married Debbie Olson, and her family has a cabin up there a little ways. He a drinker? What? Is he a drinker or a user? Why would you ask that? Police work, Richie. Road's in pretty good shape. You see, the man should know it well. This particular stretch is straight as an arrow. So why did he plow into a tree? Exactly. He skidded here... What's that? Here, the tire tracks. They go straight, right up to this point. Then they slide sharply into the tree. Hmm. Deer jump out in front of them? Probably, so there'd be hoof prints. What? What do you have? Bring bring your light over here. What is it? What is that? Well, it looks like an animal track. No... Yeah, look, claws here, four toes. It's not a track. It isn't. Giff, it's six feet across. But it looks like a track. But it can't be. It's six feet across. You you hear that? Through the trees. Come on. Oh, Oh. Ivor, is that you? Where, where is it? Ivor, come down. Where what happened? I, it came through here like a truck. I, I, I put... I put uh, what did? I, I shot it twice. I, I, I know I did. Ivor, what's going on? Richie, we need EMT. What is it? I, I got a 10-year-old over here. No pulse. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Ivor. Maddie? Maddie? You know these people? Oh, Maddie, no, no. Yeah. Father-in-law, the guy who owns that truck back there, is the kid... Yeah, a broken neck, I think. Did you hear that? Ivor? Who else is up here with you? Maddie. Ivor, listen to me. Ivor. Oh. Tell me what happened. What? It looks like a Mack truck ran over your cabin. What happened here? It came out of the woods. What came out of the woods? Uh, I don't... Ivor, what came out of the woods? The end of the world. Richie! It was the end of everything. We, we, we got another one. The baby okay? Yeah, sh- she's fine, but the mother... De- Deborah? Ivor, we need you to keep calm. What? You need to calm down. We have your granddaughter. We're going to get her safe, okay? Oh, yeah, 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 good. We all need to come along now. You need to come with us. All right. We need to know what happened here, so we'll go back to the substation. Whoa, now, whoa, Ivor, put the gun down. It's all over, Richie. World's coming to an end. 
Revelations. End of days. It's going to swallow us all up. Ivor. I'm sorry. Ivor, no. Get the baby back to the substation. It is closest. He, he just shot himself. The substation, Richie. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, thanks. What'd the coroner say? Uh, it's just like it looked. Both the girl and her son were crushed to death. Massive internal injuries. Damn it. I asked about the tire tracks or anything, and, and he said negative. They weren't run over by a vehicle. What could have done this? Um, moose? There'd be hoof prints. Besides, did you see the cabin? Something half knocked it down. Yeah, something keeps bugging me about that. What I don't understand is... For God's sakes, Richie, get your boots off the desk. Is a housekeeper around here? Wait. I mean, if you need to delay the investigation so you can dust, just go on just and... Shut, shut up a second. There's something on your boots. I would imagine it's mud. Yeah, I would imagine that too, but look at this. It's pond scum. Yeah, it's the color of pond scum, but it, it is different. What do you mean? Well, touch the stuff. Huh. If you run it through your fingers for a bit, they they start to go numb. Hmm. Topical anesthetic? <laughs> Nothing like that grows here. Uh, although... Although what? A, a weird thing about what happened tonight. I don't remember there being a road where we ran into the Olsen shack. What do you mean? Remember how we ran straight from the accident scene into the shack down that nice wide road? Yeah. There wasn't a road there before. I, I don't even think there was a path. Hmm. What? Just that... Ivor worked for the county for 30 years. He wouldn't have put in a new road without getting permits. I don't think he put in a road. Something else caused this. Caused? What do you mean caused? A new road was put in. Without permits? A lot of people play it fast and loose up here, Giff. You just said Ivar wouldn't. Well, yeah. What if something made that road just that night? Ivar was yelling about it coming out of the woods like a truck, and he was scared enough to take his own life. Just take it easy. I know he's a friend of yours. He wasn't really a friend. It's just, this is a small town. Ivor was well-known by folks. Be careful what you say, because things get around. We need to figure out what killed these people. You have a theory, officer, or are you just running your mouth? I do. That footprint? What? Back on the road by the pickup truck, there was a footprint. That was not a footprint. (sighs) It sure looked like one. It was six feet across. There is no animal in these woods that size. Hell, the only animal that size doesn't even live on land. It swims, and it doesn't have feet. What if... uh, Hear me out now. What if something that big dragged itself through the woods? What? Something big enough to leave that footprint would have cleared that road dragging through the woods, wouldn't it? An animal dragging through the woods would have left broken brush behind. Not if it was heavy enough. Not if it was secreting something that burned the land. What? It was dark when we were there. We, We weren't looking for anything except the survivor of a car wreck. I bet you if we can see that territory in daylight, we'll see a lot more. What do you think we'll see? More giant footprints? I I don't know, but it's going to be daylight in an hour. I I think we need to get out to the park marina and get a plane. And you'll fly? Part of my job, Richie. I'm supposed to go up checking for fires this week anyway. I asked you this once, and I'm going to ask you again. When did you last sleep? I'm good to fly, if that's what you're worried about. That's exactly what I'm worried about. I put more hours in that plane over the summer than I do in my truck. And you're still not answering my question. When did you last sleep? Fine. I'll go up without you. Two sets of eyes are better than one, and it's a simple question. I've had insomnia for about a month, but I'm getting enough sleep. You look like hell. I'm getting enough sleep for me. Again, you look like hell. What the hell do you want from me? Calm down, Giff. I've had just about enough of your... Officers? Uh, Come in, Karen. You call the agency? They sent you? I sent me. It's four in the morning, and I'm not going to try to rouse Judy at this time of night. Is this going to work, you two together? Shut up, Richie. It's a legit concern. You talking crazy, and then your ex walks through the door. We're both fine, Richie. I still work at Child Protective Services, and you need us. Now, tell me what happened. There was an accident out at Olson Shack near County Road 2. There's an infant back with Cheryl. The father's missing, and the mother's dead. Oh, no. Debbie? What happened? 
Guys, what happened? We were just discussing that. Karen? What? Kid's back with Cheryl. It's going to be fine, Richie. Don't worry about us working together. I'm not. I'm worried about him. You haven't heard the stuff he's been saying. I'm sure it's fine. Nice to hear you being so supportive. Gif! I wonder what's changed. I need to go take care of the baby. Karen, wait. What? Why don't you come into town for a few days? What? Get a room at the Holiday Inn or something. Just come in from the cabin. What's wrong? I don't like to think of you out in the woods like that, uh, alone. Why not? I've been alone in the woods for over a month now. Karen! And I spent many a night alone before that. See, I can make jabs, too. Come into town. I have to go and see this baby. Richie? Yeah? Keep an eye on this one, would you please? He looks like he's about to fall over. Mm, Sure. Well, on that happy note, shall we go flying? It's up here, right? Right. It's County 2 down there. Just follow it for another click in the road, but the accident should be off to the west. Okay. There. Right there. Got it. Pickup's still there. That's weird. The tow truck should have taken it to impound by now. Do you see it? Truck? No. Look, that road we followed to the cabin. It, it's not a road at all. It's just a windy path through the trees. What the hell would cause that? You see it, though, right? Of course I see it. It, it looks burned, like the brush has been burned away. What would do that? What could do that? The trail heads deeper into the park. I'm going to follow it. Yeah. Should we pull the plane up onto the beach? Go just short. I have a tow line. I'll bring ashore and tie her up to a tree. Okay. Let me get my bearings here. Through there. What? The trail ended right up through there, due east about 100 yards. There's a path here. Yeah. There's some sort of boat-in campsites on the far side of this island. People probably use that path to get to this beach. All right, there. Tied on. Okay. So... What? What's your plan here? What do you mean? You're not nervous, are you, Rich? You're the one looking for monsters. I just want to know what we'll do when we find one. Boy Scout comes prepared. And if we run into something big enough to make a road through the forest, do you think that gun's going to make a difference? Well, maybe it's afraid of noise. You are worrying me, Ranger. I'll get you back home for a cup of hot cocoa and a nice nap. Just cool your jets. Right. All right. The trail. What would you make it? Ten feet wide? Without that, geez, that slime is everywhere. Yeah, and I got a specimen kit here. Good, good. Good God, what is that? Don't know. It's not a skunk, though. Pungent enough to be, but but it's different. Yeah. Is it? Is that the goo? No, that's that's odorless. It, I don't remember that smell last night, either. You know, what I don't understand is... What? Jesus, God, Rich! What is that thing? Rich, come on! I, I don't... I don't... No, wait! Are you... Are you crazy? Run! Is it coming? Is it? No, no, it's... Let's get out of here! No argument here. Toss off that line. What? What was that? Something best studied from a distance. Come on! Well, I I can't help what I saw, sir. I understand that, but I I I really think... That's your final word? (laughs) Of course I'm getting enough sleep. Giff, please calm down. Stupid... Brain dead morons. Calm down there. You couldn't have expected them to believe you, could you? I, I don't know. How did you and the chief... About like you with the park service. I don't understand. What is it you two saw? We saw what killed the Olsen family. 
And this is hard for your superiors to believe? Apparently, yes. Why? I don't understand. You, you didn't tell her? The only person I've told was a superintendent, and you just heard how that went. Oh. What is wrong with you two? What was it? Something I wish to God I could just ignore. It was a, a, a lizard, I guess. A lizard? It was huge, Karen. 30 feet long if it was an inch. What? It had short legs, so it, it, it dragged belly and tail along the ground. It, it was black with uh, yellow splotches, and it, it, it stank to high heaven. The head was the size of a car, and it, it, it had a beak, kind of like a, a snapping turtle's. Don't bother trying to hide the fact that you don't believe us. Well, that's not fair. This is an incredible story. You can't expect me to just jump right in. We know what we saw. That's not proof. I saw what I saw. I don't see this as being any different than sighting a moose or a bear. It's different because moose and bear are known to inhabit these woods and known to exist. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, a mutant turtle gif? No wonder it went over so well with your boss. Tell me, was it Donatello or Michelangelo? Karen. It wasn't a turtle. There was no shell. It was like... All the reptiles that live up here all smashed together and pumped full of steroids. Oh, I can't believe I am being dragged into your nonsense again. Then leave. That shouldn't be a problem for you. Guys, guys, can we please focus on how to convince people there's a real threat in the woods without being locked up in the crazy house? Crazy house? Seriously, what decade are you living in? That's better. Now, what do we do? Well, we need proof. You have that sample. I don't know if that's going to do any good. Send it to Diane. Who? You know, Diane DeMarco. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'd forgotten about her. Who, who's Diane DeMarco? She's a college friend of mine. She's a wildlife biologist. She worked up here for a little while. I, I think she's down in St. Paul now. She is. And I have her email back at the office, so why don't I take the sample and you two get back onto the plane? Why? Well, whatever that thing is, it's probably big enough to be seen from the air, right? You need pictures, lots of them. You want us to go out after that thing? Well, did it look like it could fly? No. Well, then you've got nothing to worry about. I have to get a courier for this sample. You two, get moving. Is she always this bossy? You have no idea. It's heading deeper into the park, at least. Why, is that a good thing? We'll have a harder time proving it. But it's moving away from people. You see the end of that trail yet? Looks like it might end up here, piece. We're over a peninsula. Uh, it'll have nowhere to go if it runs out of land. That's good for... There it is! Where? There. Right there. Off to the right. I see it. How close do you want me to get? No closer than is necessary. Well, we have to get down there. Make a couple of passes, too. Roger that. God, that thing's ugly. What do you think it is? No idea. It looks like a Gila monster. What would you judge it, 30 feet? I think we might have been a little short on that. There. I got one next to that boulder. We can use that for perspective. It's about out of land. Yeah, maybe it'll turn around. Look at how it moves. Just lumbering over whatever gets in the way. I don't think it meant to kill those folks. Any more than you or I meant to swat a fly. Look! Is it... Oh, no! It's slipping into the lake! It can swim? Sure looks like that. It's using its tail like an oar. Just like a newt. Oh, no. What is it? The park's 80% water, Rich. If it can swim, it can go anywhere. Or hide anywhere. The lake's over 100 feet deep at some points. But it can't get away entirely. What? Look, there. Wherever it's swimming, it's leaving that oil slick behind. We can follow it just like a trail. For now we can, and I think we need to. What is it? It's swimming back towards town. Okay, I, I think it's right up here. Did this look right? Yeah, I think this is it. Looks like you said all right. Oh, thank you for coming up again, Diane. Uh, DNR has me locked in a lab all year. I jumped at the chance of coming to the field again. 
Well, I, I didn't mean that. I, I meant... She, she meant, thanks for taking our monster story seriously. No, I didn't say I took it seriously. I said I just wanted a vacation away from the lab. So you don't take it seriously? I'm reserving judgment until the facts are in. But those pictures you sent were pretty intriguing. Glad somebody believes us. Any idea what this thing could be? A giant lizard. Really? She asked if I had an idea. That's the only idea on the table at the moment. Yeah, but Diane... I didn't say it was probable, but until I get better data, we're stuck with a giant lizard. And you think something like that could exist? I'm intrigued. If you have evidence of a new species of reptile, which you do, scientists are going to want to know about it. It'll take a little time. There'll need to be papers written, but this is actually pretty exciting. What if we really had a new species? A monster? Well, why don't we study it a little bit before we label it? But things don't grow that big up here. Especially cold-blooded things like reptiles. They have to hibernate half the year as it is. Well, then you may be looking at a mutation, an individual adaptation to the environment, something like that. Wait a minute. What is it? Yeah, something doesn't smell right. I think that's probably the slime trail in the water. No, not that. Diane, if I'm remembering school right, you were the biggest skeptic I'd ever met. Hell, that was probably the reason you went into science. You're not wrong. So we come to you with a giant monster story, and you jump on board sight unseen. It wasn't sight unseen. You sent pictures. <laughs> Which means basically nothing in the age of Photoshop. What's going on? Isn't it enough that she offered to help us? No, I, I want an explanation. Take it easy, Giff. She can take it. The importance of academic rigor. Remember, Diane? You're never going to let me forget that, are you? What's this about? A lab we did together in Bio 202. I threw it out because he faked the results. I did not fake the results. I, I embellished them. I remember now. But I thought we'd move past all that. We have. No, we haven't, because here we are in a boat on a northern lake talking about giant lizards, and our friend, the queen of academic anal retentiveness, is over there with a smug smile on her face like she knows something we don't. Well? Again. You're not wrong. What do you mean? I can't talk about it. Come on. Yeah, what's up? Just wait. What? Just wait five seconds. I remember that smile now that Gif pointed it out. She is absolutely bursting to tell us something, and all we have to do is stare at her to make her break. Really? Yeah. Girl couldn't keep a secret to save her life. We're not girls anymore, Karen. True, but some things never change. Fine. See? Ugh. But none of this ever, ever leaves this boat. Scout's honor. And I was an actual scout. All right. The reason I jumped on the chance to come up here is because there have been studies suppressed at the office. What kind of studies? Long-term effects of pollution. It started back when the Legacy Amendment passed and we got all that new funding for water quality. People started doing long-term studies, short studies, micro-studies, you name it. But it was the long-term studies that started scaring people. Why? Last year, I got to look at one study from the university for about five minutes. It claimed that places with long-term pollutants, places like this lake, which has had two paper mills on it since 1915, could suffer irreparable damage to the ecosystem. We're talking a fundamental altering of a lake's DNA. Altering how? Mutation to plants and wildlife, dying off of a native species, maybe impossibly high alkaline levels in the water. We're talking about an ecosystem that makes itself toxic to all life that isn't adapted to its specific nature. Like, for example, humans? Exactly. Undrinkable water, inedible plants, and apparently giant poisonous lizards roaming the woods. Not exactly a garden spot here there be monsters. If it were true, we'd have to start shutting parks down. Maybe even consider evacuating people that lived around them. Are you saying this is being covered up? Suppressed. But yeah. All that new tax money was supposed to clean up the waters, not tell people they couldn't use them anymore. But you can't solve the problem if you don't admit it's there. Which is where your friend the lizard comes in. He'll be hard to ignore. Oh my god! Was that a tail? Yeah, it's right under us. How deep is the water here? About 30 feet. Is that deep enough to... Probably not, no. What do we do? I figure our options are... We, we start the engine to make a run for it, hoping it's not territorial or anything, or... Wow! Okay. Or, or, 
Or we just stand here very quietly, hoping it doesn't notice us. That was the most amazing creature I've ever seen. Not that I wouldn't mind studying it from a distance. Get it's over by that rock. Good time to go then. Okay, that was close. Gif? What? What is it? I think it's following us. What the hell? I think we can say it's territorial. Can we go any faster? Why, is it gaining? Oh! Oh, God, what the hell was that? It just drove its snout against the side of the boat. It's coming back. Everybody get strapped in. This is going to get bumpy. Where? Wait, where do I... Oh! Oh! Gif! Diane fell in! What? Is she Okay. She's got her life jacket. She's right there. Uh, Let let me bring it around. Oh, she shouldn't be making so much noise. Just a minute. Diane, quiet down. I I got it. I got it. Just give me a sec. We don't have a sec. (laughs) Please, God. She's... She's gone. It's it's moving away. Where? There. It's swimming downstream. Toward town. I have reason to believe that there may be a threat. I know how it sounds, but I've had three officers of the court to swear to it. Don't you think it's at least worth the... No, sir, but you will need to under... That's all I ask. Thank you, sir. That didn't sound very positive. What did he say? He said he'd talk to the governor. Well, what's going on? Hey, you should be lying down, like we said. I'm fine. You look pale, Karen. I said I'm fine. Now tell me what's happened. Did you call the mayor? Chief Blake did. Chief? He said he'd relay our situation to the governor and ask for the National Guard. I th- think he'll do it, too. Do you think he believed you? Well, the mayor's a good man, but I think he wants to get this situation up the chain so it doesn't reflect poorly on him if we all be- end up getting discredited. Discredited? Calm down. I just saw one of my best friends get eaten by that thing, and you're worried about your reputation? <laughs> my, my reputation? Well, my reputation shot. I just called in all off-duty officers and enlisted the sheriffs, who didn't believe me, by the way, because an officer I trust told me there's a giant lizard in the woods. There is. So you see my conundrum. Either you're all crazy and I lose my job, or you're telling the truth and the town's under attack. Kind of in a no-win situation here, folks. I think you could cut me a little slack. Conundrum? Wife gave me a word-a-day calendar. Chief, uh, thank you for calling in the troops. You're welcome. And I'm sorry Parks couldn't be more help, but... We do have a plane and a pilot. When did you last sleep, Ranger? Damn it! He's fine. He gets enough sleep. All right. Since there really isn't an animal attack to investigate here... What? Uh, I mean to say, Karen, there really isn't anything here to investigate. Usually with an animal attack, there's something left behind. Oh. Thing to do now is divide up. Two units. We've got two jobs here, folks. Track that thing and protect the town. I'll order up reserve units to protect the town. They'll set up on the dam, try and keep it in the water. Could it get over the dam? Uh, I don't know. Lizards usually like still water. Yeah. I'll get men patrolling along the lake shore. Better call in the provincials on the Canadian side, too. This thing could go ashore anywhere. You think they'll believe you? Well, I know Colin McTavish over there pretty well. He wouldn't laugh at me for long if I convinced him I was serious. I'd hate to not tell him and have something happen. Okay. That leaves the tracking. What about Gift's plane and a boat for that? Good thinking. You said it was headed back toward town? When last we saw it, yes. Okay. Gift, you get to the air, and Richie, you take the boat. Work back toward town. I'll drive along the shore road, staying with you when I can. What do we do if you see it? That is an excellent question. You say you shot at it, Richie? Yesterday, yeah. Slow it down much? I'm not sure it really noticed. And Ivor Olsen probably put some slugs in it as well. Okay. Ideas? The slugs did nothing. I suppose bigger slugs would help. That's where the National Guard comes in. (laughs) You're not thinking of using artillery, are you? Artillery, mines, high explosive, I'm considering it all. Probably isn't really firepower, it's time. How do you mean? Well, someone has to approve the big guns. And until they do, we're on our own. We need something that can slow it down immediately. Shotguns? I have to be awfully close. And a shotgun blast will probably piss it off. What's the biggest slug we have? 44. I don't think we have many weapons that fire that big. 
I suppose we could gather everyone together with a deer rifle and shoot it to pieces. What are a hundred men with rifles likely to do when they see it for the first time? Quite possibly panic. Yeah. Slugs. What, what, hun? Slugs. You keep talking about slugs. Yes. Well, that just got me to thinking. Can't you load shotgun shells with something besides shot? Yeah, you can load them with just about anything. Including rock salt? Wait a minute. Well, some reptiles are sensitive to salt, just like slugs or snails. What if you put a lot of road salt right into that thing? It'd piss it off. Or encourage it to turn around. Maybe. And you wouldn't need to limit to just shotguns. Anything that could throw a load of salt could work. Pressure hose with a PVC pipe, uh, small cannons. You know some of them with a small cannon? <laughs> I rousted some local kids out of the park one time. They were experimenting with a pipe and some firecrackers. Well, we don't have time for experimentation. We have to stick with good plans. To begin with, we could have the road crew start laying down a thick layer of salt right on the shore. Probably wouldn't like crawling over that too much. Do we know it doesn't like salt? We don't know anything, really. But at least this is a plan. I'll call ahead, tell men to start filling shotgun rounds with road salt. Karen, you're with me. Okay, I'll, I'll be there in a moment. Well, hurry up. Okay. Giff? Yeah? I heard it. You heard what? You call me Hun back there. Did I? Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah. Wait. What is it? Just wait. What are you doing? I'm building a cairn. There should be something, at least to help us remember where Diane... where it happened. Of course. You know, I I think when this is over, it's going to be hard to remember anything clearly. (laughs) You think it's going to be over? Of course. We'll get this thing. Maybe. I just keep thinking about what Diane said. A whole environment making itself hostile? We'll stop this thing. Gulars aren't always so easy to stop. What? Sorry? No, you, you just said, I, I don't know, you called it something. What? You called the lizard a name, a gular? Oh, <laughs> I didn't even realize I'd said it. What does it mean? It's, it's family folklore. When my little brother Jimmy was about four, he saw an old movie where a guy in a gorilla suit crawled in through this woman's bedroom window. Scared him to death. He couldn't say gorilla, so he called it a gular. The gular's gonna get me, he'd say became our family's shorthand for boogeyman, monster, the thing that comes out of your nightmares. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, you still on these frequency? Come back. Still here. What's up? The uh, slime trail is dissipating a bit down here. I'm having a hard time spotting it. Can you still follow it? Yeah, it's pretty obvious from the air. It looks like he's headed for the Narrows up the river. I can try and get ahead of him. Spook him back into the park. Are you feeling suicidal? What else would you suggest? Well, not putting yourself between a monster and where it wants to go. Your chief is going to figure out something to stop it. We just have to keep watch. And, and remember, it almost tipped over the boat last time. Uh, copy that. See you in town. Yeah. Uh, Richie. Uh, yeah, Chief. Take two men and send them over the dam, would you? I want to make sure that thing doesn't climb over it. Okay, but, but do we have a plan yet? I got volunteers making rock salt ammo. The city crew is doing their best to lay down a layer on the shore, but equipment isn't designed to lay it on thick. They're having to go slow with shovels. Where's Karen? Heading up the volunteers. You got a good woman there, Giff. Yeah. Has any of this information gotten to the Canadian side? Ah, uh, damn it in the rush, I didn't even think of that. Richie, get those men on the dam and... There it is! Mother Mary of God, was that a tail? A little easier to believe when you see it, isn't it? No, no, it really isn't. Uh, It's McTavish on the Canadian side. They have a watch set up. Probably just saw that. Orders, Chief? Uh, Keep it in sight and pray. Hello, Colin? God, look at it. Headed straight for the dam. Those men look jumpy. Do you think it can get over? Hey, they hit it! Chief, they just hit it with the rock salt and it backed off. Yeah, thanks, Colin. Oh, that's good news. Doesn't like getting a face full of salt. You men have your shotguns? Yes, sir. And then join the line. Follow that thing. Shoot it if it tries to come to shore. If it's scared enough, we might convince it to head up backstream. What about the Canadian shore? The McTavish is on it. Luckily, their shoreline is a lot rockier than ours. Not up by the marina, it isn't. 
Good lord, I hadn't thought of that. I hope he lays the salt there first. There it is! Join the line. I'll get more ammo. Right. It's working. Turn it back. Richie, get those men up at the dam and pour some more rounds in it. It doesn't want to go upstream, and we have to get it to change its mind. Right. All right, it dove. T- tell those idiots to stop firing. It- it's down too deep. Hey, knock it off. Ammo. Fresh supplies. Thank God. H- how's the rock salt holding out? Of that, we have plenty. It's shell casings we're running out of. How's it going? Now, the thing's confused and-, and dove down to the bottom. We can see it moving around. It's not heading back? No. It, it must have some instinct to keep it from swimming upstream. Gif! Gif, It's moving! Upstream? Yes, but it's hugging the Canadian shore. I'm afraid when it gets around the bend, it's going to come to that grassy slope right near the marina. Ah, it keeps trying to get out of the water. Well, don't the Canadians have it guarded? Uh, Blake forgot to tell them about the rock salt. We don't know if they started laying it down or not. Uh, how many boats do we have? Yours plus the department has two at the city landing. Uh, all right, get some in and go get those boats in the water. We have to follow that thing and try to keep it from going ashore. I'm coming with you. What? N- don't be crazy. You'll be piloting the boat, right? You need a pair of eyes on the bow looking for it. Besides, I know how to use one of these things. Dad was a pheasant hunter. That thing has a lot more kick than a bird gun. I'll bruise, but I'll live. Let's go. Can you see it yet? No. It's a lot deeper through here. Be careful up there. It can come up fast. I am. There! Over there! It's going after one of the other boats. Get in close. I can get a shot. Are you crazy? Those men are in trouble. Gif! Oh, capsize the boat. We have to get to those men before it does. All right, all right. You did it. You drove them off. Where are the men? I don't see them. Oh, no. What? They ascended for the marina. It doesn't look like they have more than a dozen men there. We have to get ashore, quickly. Come on! Giff! Come back, Chief. I'm trying to locate Richie. He was supposed to get more boats. You need to get more men to the marina. What, on the Canadian side? I I don't think that's a good idea. There's no time to worry about jurisdiction. We're pouring rounds into this thing, and it won't stop. It's headed into town. Say again. Get men over here! The Gular is headed into town! Gif, are you on? Come back. Right here. Over. We need reinforcements at Dominion Park. Say again. It's moving toward the park. Talk to Blake. He was on Channel 4. Negative. I can't raise anyone on that side of town. Can you get me men and guns at the park? You have to use provincial police. Uh, we have our hands full here. You have to get... Richie, I'm, I'm sorry. That, that thing went through a neighborhood. I, I have three houses down. We can hear survivors in the rubble. Come again. I, I say... I need the men I've got to look for survivors, Richie. It's moving through town. It's going right over people. It's heading to Dominion Park. Uh, Good. That's by the lake. Uh, Maybe it will... We have to kill this thing now. You got any bright ideas how? Richie, listen. I've got people dying on this end of town. If it wants to go to the park and and slide back into the water, you have to let it. This might be our best chance. Do you think I know that? Right, that's it. All units pull back to the border. What? Come back, Chief. I don't think I heard that. I got my orders from the governor. We're we're to pull back. Is he crazy? We have this thing on the run. Provincial police will have to handle it. We have our orders. We have to withdraw to the U.S. side. Sir, if, if, if we just fight a, Gift, a little you have, longer... You have to get across to the hospital. What is it? It's Karen. She's She got in its way. Oh, dear God. Giff. Oh, 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 hey. Sorry, sorry, I got here as soon as I could. How, how is she? Uh, they got her doped up pretty good. It was a crushed pelvis and a broken leg. What the hell happened? When we got ashore, she took off trying to warn people in the neighborhood. We got separated, and I, I guess she got in its way. 
Is she... She'll live. That's the important thing. Mm. Hey, hey, hey there. Um, Gif? Just rest. What happened? You got... You got run over by the gular. Do you remember? Town. We were headed over to the Canadian side. It it was headed into into town. Right. I started banging on doors, but it was moving so fast. I think I was on this woman's porch. I don't remember. She invited me down to her cellar. It's okay. Don't talk. I didn't go. I needed to warn people. Did you get it? Richie? It, uh, well, it slipped into the lake about an hour ago. We haven't seen it since. I think we spanked it pretty good. It won't come back to town anytime soon. Oh. We just need to get together a search party and, and get the National Guard involved. It might be big, but it, it's still flesh and bone. And, and we. Yeah? How many? How many what? Oh, well. There's no official... GIF, how many? Last I heard, 17. Unofficially. All Canadian? Uh, no. Two officers are missing, presumed drowned. And Chief Blake... Richie. Chief Blake's car got pushed off the road by that thing straight into a lamppost. He was going about 60. He was DOA. Hmm. I'm so tired. Just sleep. Oh, uh, Richie, could you stay with her? It, it's the district office. I, I have to take this. Sure, sure. Gif? Hmm? We did all we could. Yeah. Uh, Gifford George. Ranger George, this is Dan Hawkinson at the district office. Uh, yes, sir. What can I do for you? Well, it sounds like you folks have had quite an adventure this afternoon. Yes, sir. I'm calling to let you know that I'm recommending you for a commendation, Ranger. The way you protected park resources is exemplary. It sounds like this is quite an achievement for law enforcement up there. Sir, with all due respect, we're we're kind of in mourning here. We really aren't thinking about commendations just yet. Understood. I just want you to know that I'm hearing from a lot of higher circles that we are very appreciative of the way your people move this problem out of our jurisdiction. Sir? You remove the threat from park land and from the country. That was exemplary. Sir, people died in that town, and it doesn't matter they were Canadian. We live right next door to them. To you, it doesn't matter. To us, it matters a lot. To the tune of millions, Ranger. Millions. Sir, I don't think you understand. I have it on good authority that this thing was caused by long-term pollution. Whose? What's that? Whose authority? Uh, Diane DeMarco. She's a researcher with the Minnesota GNR. Well, she'll be interviewed, of course, but I hope she has some proof to back up these accusations. Actually, she she was a casualty today. Oh, that's unfortunate. Sir, I I think we need to move now. Ranger George, you've had a long day. Get some sleep, let your people heal up, and then we'll decide what to do in the morning. You are going to figure out what happened to cause this thing, aren't you? It's imperative that we... Get some sleep, George. That thing is still out there, and there may be more. That thing swam away to the Canadian side of the lake. It's their problem now. You've had a long day, so I will ignore the tone you took just now. Do not expect the same courtesy tomorrow. Understood? But... Do you understand, Ranger? Yes, yes, sir. We'll work it out, Gif. Just thank God that thing didn't hit a populated area. I thought it did. Goodbye, Ranger. What did he say? He said it's not our problem anymore. Really? But that's not what he meant. He meant it's not his problem. It's not the department's. Well, we always knew we were kind of on our own up here. Yeah. You want to go get some coffee? No, I'm... I'm going to go in and wait till she wakes up. Okay. And Giff? Yeah? We'll kill it. I promise you. We'll kill it. All we have to do is find it. Yeah. Let's just hope it doesn't find us first. This has been The Gular from the Icebox Radio Theater.